so we are live. So uh, my time is uh, uh, eight o'clock in the evening. So good evening to all of you. Um, I would like to. I am the. Uh, I would like to thank to my all friends and uh, well wishes who are supporting to my uh, Facebook page, and I am the face behind this Facebook page. And um, yeah, I would like to introduce myself. Uh, I am Arti from Switzerland, and uh, I'm I'm working as a healthcare worker in a senior home. And um, yeah, I'm an online entrepreneur too. Okay, this is my small introduction about myself. And today I have a special guest. Uh, she is amazing. She is doing an amazing job in this business. And uh, she's Susie. She is a general practitioner in UK. And uh, I would like to welcome, uh, welcome Susie. Hi, Aarti. Thank you for having me here today. Uh, so it's um, I'm from the UK and it's seven, just past seven in the UK. So good evening from the UK. And thank you for having me today. Yeah. And I would like to also thank, thank you to you from the bottom of my heart to accepting my invitation for this interview. And because I know you are a very, very busy person, uh, you are um, working as a general practitioner and the online entrepreneur. And uh, so, uh, uh, Susie, could you uh, could you introduce yourself? Absolutely. Uh, so, yeah. So, my my name's Susie, and uh, I'm uh, as Arti said, I'm a general practitioner by background. So, I do both clinical work and management. Um, so, and I live in the UK with my husband and my fourteen year old daughter, and I'm also a proud digital business owner. Yeah, it's very nice to hear from you, and. Um, First question is because you are the most demanded job. You have the most demanded job and the well paid also. And what what's the thing this motivated uh, or the pursuit to do this online business? <laughs> I think mm -hmm. that's a question which I get <laughs> every time. So what is a doctor doing in an online business? Don't you get paid um, quite well? Aren't you happy with your job? So the answer to all those questions is yes, I am very happy with my job. Uh, uh, like if I wasn't, uh, you know, if I didn't enjoy what I did, I wouldn't be doing it. That's number one. But the thing is, there's a limitation to how many hours that one can work um, in general practice as a doctor or a nurse or any kind of medical practitioner. Because and at the end of the day, when you work as a, you know, as a general practitioner or doctor, you have to, to earn money, you have to actually exchange your time for money. And don't get me wrong, I love being with my patients. And that's why in spite of being in management, I still am a very much hands-on clinician. A lot of my colleagues, once they get into management, they become completely hands-off. And I'm just the opposite. I, I love my patients. So I am still a very much hands-on clinician. But again, uh, the pandemic is something that mm -hmm. I can say that's changed everyone. Yes. Um, during the pandemic, uh, unfortunately, my husband lost his job and I was the sole breadwinner at that time. And um, I had to start working a, a bit more hours just to make mm -hmm. sure that everyone's comfortable. But that meant me, uh, you know, being away from home and also you know i've seen patients face to face and that getting exposed to the virus mm -hmm. and also you know then i started and i saw people dying and that's when you know i thought oh my goodness we shouldn't take our lives for granted and um, and i was also scared of bringing the virus back home to my family uh, because a lot of people were dying and that's when i was really looking at you know there should be a very a much more smarter way to make money uh, rather than just trading my time for money. And that's mm -hmm. when I started looking for ways of making money uh, because now I work as a general practitioner because I love working as a general practitioner. I love serving people. I love my patients. Um, when I go and see them, I really love all that. But, you know, I now can work in my terms and that's exactly what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. uh, before, during the pandemic, I I was working because I needed to pay the bills. Yes. Yeah. So it's a very big difference when you work, when you have to pay the bills and when you work because you just want to serve. So the business has allowed me to actually, um, you know, I haven't done any extra shifts mm -hmm. uh, since starting the business. I've not done a single mm -hmm. extra shift. Um mm -hmm. 
so yeah and uh, that that's the amazing thing and uh, and i've been able to do some renovation works in the house and all mm -hmm. since starting the business without usually if i have to do something like that i tend to tend doing some locum shifts and i didn't have to mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know do all that which was absolutely brilliant really yeah. so yeah this so that's a, a great opportunity Yes, yeah. this is a great opportunity to work from our comfort zone at home. No, this is a this is a very pleasant in this business. Yeah, absolutely. So you are imagine being at home, and you know, the thing is, uh, in a day, um, you know, I was earning more than um, what I, uh, you know, what I would earn as a GP three to four times more. Uh, so that is the potential of the business, um, and uh, and that yes. too. You I don't, I don't spend more than one or two hours a day. And when I say that spending one or two hours a day, I don't even spend continuously. I I might do a bit of 15 minutes before starting work. In between lunch, I might look at a few things, mm -hmm. then come back to do a few things. That's it. So because I don't have the time to be actually spending two hours in a day to be actually doing the business because I actually work also, isn't it? So that mm -hmm. is the flexibility of the business. Because it's a 24-7 business, you know, you don't have to. It's not like it's a set time. Like when we go for our jobs, if you're working 9 to 5 shift, you are working 9 to 5. Now, yes. if you have to see a dentist around that time, you either have to take time off work the whole day. If your workplace is flexible, you might be given two hours. But then again, that's two hours leave and things like that. Uh, you know, but the business is 24-7. So... If you have, if you're not working, or if it's your day off, if you have something, it's mm -hmm. fine. You can do your things, and you can work around yourself. While you know, at, when you have a job, the the thing is, you your life is around your job. Yes, yes. Even your children, your husband, the things in the house, everything is in the back burner. Yes. And yes. Why? Because we need the money. Mm. And, um, you know, the pandemic gave me a lot of perspective about life. And I was like, yes, you know, I am in a very noble profession and I was able to help people and I'm still able to help people. But, you know, I, I am repre replaceable as a doctor, but I'm not replaceable as a mom or a wife. Yeah, amazing. That's exactly said, <laughs> Susie. I want to uh, say also like that because, um, you see, um, Every, every person realized in pandemic situations uh, with, uh, yeah, why don't we have a plan B actually for the income streams, yeah. And uh, for example, my husband also, he, he, uh, he has reduced his job because he's in, in a hotelery. And uh, we, at this time, we find a, a financial burden time. It's very difficult to face these problems. So at this time, I think, no, I have to do something uh, in online space, uh, I don't want to sacrifice my family time because I am working as a healthcare assistant, and I want to have a plan B as a yeah as a side hustle yeah yeah so, yes. And I would like to ask you because you are what's the different find you is the employee mindset to an online entrepreneur mindset. So. An employee is the only place, if you're an employee, is the only place where, um, you know, you will, it's kind of the only place where you are kind of, you know, if you spend some time, like exchange, like what I've explained, it's if you, um, you know, you, you will get paid for the hours that you put in. And, you know, and you are actually putting a price tag to your mm -hmm. name. Uh, while an entrepreneur is like completely different. It, there's no price tag because once you scale your business, once you crack what to do and once you scale your business, there is no limit. Like what I'm trying to say is when you are like, if you're working as a you know healthcare professional, like assistant, I don't know how much you earn in Switzerland. Like imagine you're getting 10, like here maybe 10 or 12 pounds an hour. Hmm. So you, the only way you can earn more money is if you work more hours. Yes, yes. But as an entrepreneur, you know, yes, of course, if I earn, put in more hours, I, I there's a potential to get more money. Fine. But with the same, you know, hours that you spend, you still have a potential to earn and scale your business. 
and this is the only place where you can do do that by as if you're having a job yes you will at the end of the month get paid a salary but again as an employer or employee you know if you don't go for work if your employer is good or if you have um, you know you might have some sick pay you might have some compassionate leave but that is all limited what if you're having an illness like i in the community I, one of the things i do is i look after i'm a long covid champion so i look after patients with long covid i have now also patients with long covid since march 2020 they caught covid and they still are not able to go back to work now which employer will pay you for 3 years so they lost their jobs or they took up you know um, voluntary retirement or whatever because of that but if you are doing a business you know you have a lot of capacity and scope to actually look after your health yes. yeah we have lots of people in our business who joined the business because they couldn't keep a job because they are unwell but because the business does not require you a lot of time and works around you uh, you know you're still able to earn money like we had uh, in our community one of our doctors actually in march i don't know whether you know she got admitted and she put it on our on our facebook you know uh, you know community group she was in hospital for one month <laughs> and she's showing her income yeah. staying in a hospital bed and you are earning hmm Yes, that's have- the beauty of this business while mm-hmm. if you are an employer em- employee i mean well you might have uh, you know if you are working in a good company or in a good setting for one month you might be paid fully but how long will you be paid yeah or it might be half pay or whatever isn't it while this person was in hospital in the month of march and she was paid so mm-hmm. this is amazing and there is no other place where you can get that and uh, and the beauty about entrepreneurship is you are working smarter and you're making your money work for you rather than as an employee you will always have to work for money and that's where we all got it wrong hmm. we have to make our money work yes have a job but use that job as a propellant to invest the money that you have so that then you make that money work for you most of us what we do is once we earn money we we keep on earning money and then our expenses go up because yes. we we then spend on a nice car a nice <laughs> house and you know then we think oh we still don't have money because we've been taught like oh if you you know as you earn you your standard of living goes higher and that's again like an employee mindset but once you're an entrepreneur you will start investing things and then you start living out of the money you earn from there you fund your lifestyle through your investments mm. your assets will then be able to fund your lifestyle so that is like a it, it took me 2 years really to get my head around it <laughs> yes, yes. of course yeah and and i would like to ask you how do you find this business and what are the challenges or support uh did you get from this business society or from our community community yeah so um i have done a few businesses before starting this business um and what i like about this business is because i'm um i'm a medical professional i work sometimes you know uh, i don't work any more long hours very long hours but um you know people work long hours and um, this business is able to work around you when i was doing like property business and all i if i wanted to do something you know the estate agents were bit working only between 9 to 5 or 9 to 6 and generally i was working that time mm-hmm. and then i was losing deals or i was not able to close deals because my work was not permitting so there is no flexibility in some of those businesses and the other thing is you have to still go out drive drive an hour or something like that go do make the deal you know have that face to face conversations with people and all while the beauty about this business is i've never met you before you know before you know we decided to go on live i've never met you you know mm-hmm. so you know this is an opportunity where we meet people like minded people online like in the comfort of our own home and mm-hmm. the opportunity to learn from each other 
I have lots to learn from you and you have lots to learn from me and we learn from each other. And mm -hmm. what our community does is we share that information so that, you know, we help each other, build each other up, you know, as a team, as a community, we do that. And, yes. um, and the thing is, yes, there are lots of mentorship programs out there because I have been in few of them. But always what I've noted is it's limited. While once you are in our team, it's lifelong. And you don't pay for that membership. It's, you know, once you're in, it's lifetime membership. And you don't have to pay a quarterly fee or anything to be. I am yet to see a community like that. Mm -hmm. I'm yet to see a community where you get weekly masterminds for life. Yes. I'm yet to see a community where you get one-to-one -one training mentorship for life. I'm yet to see, a you know, like, because this is a legitimate business, you know, some of the other businesses which I was involved in, you know, you couldn't transfer that, um, you know, like crypto, you know, it was difficult to do all that. Yes, While yes. this is a business which I can then, when my daughter is older, I can transfer to her or she can join in also. Mm -hmm. so, so these are the lots of benefits which I found, the flexibility around time, flexibility uh, um, around, you know, working from home. I don't have to step outside my house to do this business. I can, or I can go on a, you know, vacation and do this business. You know, it works around me. <clears throat> you know, it works around my schedule. So, and that is the beauty. And um, and even when I do train my mentees and when we do our one-to-one -one sessions and things like that, you know, we, we work around our schedules, isn't yeah. it? And um, yeah, and we still do our things, enjoy life, you know, enjoy time with our family. Because this doesn't require a lot of time, unlike a full-time job. Yes, yes. So, yeah. So, um, and the, the challenges would be like, because again, we have never been taught about business. We don't have a business degree or anything. So, it's something new. So, when you start something new, it's more like the fear Will I be able to do this? <laughs> you know? I, I have also, I think, also, I thought also, uh, how can I do that? Because I don't have any previous business experiences. And uh, I think, okay, but the, when, I, when I started, the confidence is automatically come. And uh, um, we, when we have to do something in success way, and we have to come out from our comfort zone, no? Always this is very Absolutely. It's like when you went to university, like when you went, when I went to university also, like at that time I had, I was living with my parents and I had to go away. I had to, you know, I was brought up, you know, I, um, you know, abroad and things. I had to go, uh, you know, away from my parents and things like that to actually go to uni and uh, study. And when I went also, it was all new. It was, and it was hard. It was completely different. It was adult learning. It was completely different from school learning. And then you're alone you, in all this place. And, you know, for me, I went into another, uh, another place where I don't know their language also. So it was a lot. And the getting used to cultural things also was hard for me. Being away from my parents was hard for me. But, you know, we did it. We still did it. So when I reflect on that, I was thinking if I could go through all that and get, get my medical degree and and then my, um, you know, uh, my further education, master's and every certifications after that, you know, I, this is like nothing. It's the same process. Yes. Uh, was I afraid when I first started? Yes, I had it. I was scared, but my why was really strong and I knew I couldn't be working for another 65 years because I mean, until I'm 65, 68, because one thing is, you know, will I be, you know, healthy enough to actually work that long? And then I thought from the age of three, three and a half, I've been actually in school. <laughs> you know, do I really want to be working hard till I'm 68? Um, you know, because I, I went to kindergarten. So I went to start a school at three, three and a half. Then straight away after school, I went to uni straight away. I went to, you know, study and then you know then work and i had a very short maternity period uh, once my baby was like 10 months i went straight back to work full time and i was like my whole life is studying and working so when did i enjoy life so when i thought about it i'm like life is really more than just working and getting money and thinking that you're happy and safe and i'm like there should be really a better way of working um, so yeah 
So I was up to the challenge and that's what I did. And I'm glad I did it because now mm -hmm. I'm cutting down my hours from next week. I'm cutting down my hours. Yes. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Forward for that. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's, it's amazing to hear from you. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Great. It's really great. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Most of the people I, I, I have also done that. Uh, I also reduced my uh, few working hours as a previous uh, job. Yeah. And um, what what do you like to say the people who are skeptical? Because most of the leads, you know, they ask the first question, uh, is this legitimate or and they they are they are very skeptical to start this business and um, or sometimes they uh, they don't like to fail in their life or they don't want to they don't want to take a risk to do that and uh, what would you like to say for such a people what, what is the advice not the advice but what would you like to say for them so, number one is when people come to me and they're like they're like they're scared of you know an online thing and it could be from of their experience they could have been scammed so the first thing i actually tell when they come to me is i say see i am i am a doctor and that too, I'm in a high management post. I said, I wouldn't, uh, you know, put my reputation and my job in the line for this, any business. Because the thing is, at the end of the day, if I'm doing something fraudulent, people can report me. Mm. That, that will, you know, that will affect my integrity, my reputation and my livelihood. So I said, I will never do that. Mm. So um, that is number one. And most people, in my case, most people, when I say that, because I'm a doctor, they, they are happy with that answer. But the other thing I say, tell them is, I said, to see, you know, to see our webinar, it doesn't cost you anything. Once you see the webinar, you decide. And yes, is this business for everyone? No, because some yes. people don't like the idea for working from home or earning money from home, which is fine. But you're not even giving yourself an opportunity to see whether this is something that you can do. Mm -hmm. um, so that is number one. And then once you go in there, it will tell you about the next steps. And, you know, and you just uh, and the next step would be paying the 149. And and at the end of the day, you, you have a 30 day money back guarantee. For paying 149 and for 149 um, you will be able to then look into our company who we are affiliated we are affiliated with a company that's been there for 50 years that itself tells you know immensely about our company like it's been through depressions it's been through market crashes it's been through the pandemic so for 50 years so yeah. and that company so that is a very strong and solid company. So you can learn about the company. You can learn about all the locations and the countries which we are serving. And every year, every month, uh, you know, we are like having new, new places added in because the business is booming. Yes. So that, that's number. But then you have an opportunity. You have an opportunity to check out. Is this business legitimate? Is this company legitimate? How many centers do they have? Do they have a website? Do they have a phone number? They have a physical location. You can check all this out for yourself. Do your research. Yes. Then you, when you come into the community, you can see our successes. Like, you know, I talk mm -hmm. about my successes in the com com community. So you can you can see that in first hand, how it is changing lives of people. You can see that normal everyday people from stay at home moms to doctors, to dentists, to lawyers, to nurses, to engineers, to teachers, police officers, builders, plumbers, electricians, cleaners, hoteliers, you know, you name it. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm probably missing a lot more people, but you know, we get the gist of what I'm trying to say. We mm -hmm. are all in this company, uh, you know, in this community. And a lot of us are doing very reputable, do like police officers are all in this, doing the business. Yes. And you will get an opportunity to see all of us. And would we do anything that's illegal? No, I wouldn't do anything that's Ill illegal because... You know, <laughs> I don't put I don't want to put my family into shame. I don't want to lose my job and my reputation and my integrity. Yes. That, exactly. that means a lot to me more than money at the end yes. of the day. I, I also say to my leads, they ask first, is this legitimate? I ask, ask them, do you want to present your family uh, in front of all if you if you are doing something scam? No, I don't want to because we are doing all for family. We uh, sacrifice 
too much for our families, no? And we don't want to do anything, uh, fault things or anything such a such a scam things to our family. So I said, yeah. Then the first they ask, then they are convinced about these answers. I think, yeah, because it's the beauty, and we are present ourselves and how do our um, lives there, yeah. And um, yeah, so see, and the last but not least, the, the question. And what would you like to say? Uh, to the people who want to, who are sitting on the fence. I don't know how can I start and shall I start this one? And what would you like to say for these people? Um, like what I said, like, um, you know, the best kind of business to do at this time and moment is something online, whether it's, um, you know, s selling any uh, digital products, coaching, uh, you know, services and all in the online space is the best thing to do now what is the best thing about our business is like if you were to do it on your own to set up like the like the infrastructure that we have would cost you at least twenty one thousand pounds it's all done for you it's all done and you don't pay any of that money into that because it's all done for you and you have a complete blueprint on what you need to do step by step so you're not starting from scratch so that is and then you know you just need to know how to do a uh, kind of um, digital marketing and we have a video based training that does all that for you and again one to one training and mentorship that will help you in the process yes so at the end of the day, and then there is a 30-day money-back guarantee. At that end of the day, you feel, no, this is not for me. You have nothing to lose. But if you don't even give yourself the opportunity to check this business out, you might be losing the opportunity of a lifetime to give your family the you know, the financial freedom and the time freedom. More than, you know, financial freedom, it's the time that this business helps you achieve, isn't it? Yes. Um, yes. And that is amazing. And what if you just lost it just because you were skeptical? Yes. So yes. there's nothing to lose, guys. This is the best time to start, uh, you, know, uh, you know, a digital business because unlike a bricks and mortar business, the capital for any kind of digital, uh, you know, uh, business is, you know, nothing compared to if you were to start something like a shop or a restaurant or something like that. Yes, yes. Okay, amazing. Uh, Susie, you um, you touched all the uh, points that who want to start the new uh, this business. And thank you so much for your time. And once more time, I would like to thank to you uh, bottom from the heart uh, for accepting my invitation for this interview. No so worries. have a nice day. And uh, thank you so much, all friends who are following us. <laughs> no worries. You take care. Have a good evening. Okay, have a good evening. Thank you. Bye-bye.